And now for the final step. You have imported your Playout 1 data into Music 1. You've created your categories, moved songs and non-music items into your categories. You've created format clocks. I only have one here at the moment. And you've put that format clock onto a day format, which is the clock lineup that Music 1 will use when it runs the schedule. And then you ran and saved a new schedule. This is scheduled for Monday the 26th. When you save that schedule, Music One created two files, one for its own uses, and it created a playlist file for Playout One. Where that playlist file went is set in System Settings under the Automation tab. I have just automation logs there. The name can be anything, provided that Playout One is directed to the same folder. There's other videos and information about that. But this one is under C colon backslash music one backslash automation logs. So in this setup, that's where the playlists for Playout One are going to go. In Playout One, click on the System Settings button. That's the little uh, gear icon in the top right-hand corner. Bring up System Settings and make sure that in the Playlist field, you have the path to the playlists that Music One is creating. That is, in my example, C, Music One, Automation Logs. If that path is not set, click the three little buttons right there on the right side of the field and negotiate through your system, select the folder where you're having Music One save the playlists for Playout One. Also on this screen, you will want to click Auto Load the next playlist when item reaches and that number can be set. What that means is as Playout One plays the songs and the items through the hour, they will disappear from the screen and the list will get shorter and shorter and you can tell it here, when to load the next playlist. 10 is a nice number. You can make it larger or smaller. Click that little button right there. Start loaded playlist 10 seconds after startup. What this means is when the computer starts, Playout 1 will automatically load and launch the playlist a few seconds after the computer starts, which you probably want to have done. Click Save. Now let's load a playlist. Click the folder icon in the top left-hand corner and select the playlist that you want to load. This was the 26th. It's the 9 a.m. hour for me, so I'm going to select the 9 a.m. hour, which is right there, and click Open. And there we go. We're ready to go, and we can click the little Start button in the lower left-hand corner. It loads the first song. Click Start, and away we go.